right so we load a single brick in Okay, we select the move, it's selected, which um, allows this slot here, create patterns, create pattern. And we'll click once, hold the hold it, draw, drag it out, release. And we've got two parameters here we can fill in. By pressing the tab, it can go between the two of them. So we'll do the length first. We want five, going to have five bricks with 12 millimeters or so in between them. See, so it's highlighted in blue, uh, 227 plus 12. Shift, and need brackets around all this. Brackets, end times five. Right, and now tab 5, that'll do, escape, now, okay, so we've got over here a pattern, so what it means that if we expand it and click any brick, tab, oh we've still got all this lock back, so it means we're selecting the whole thing. So if we move that, we'll move it all. If we try to rotate it, it rotates everything. Control Z, we come back to the start. Okay, suppose we want to move one brick or delete one brick or turn one brick through an angle or something. Click to get rid of the highlight. Right click on pattern up here in the structure tree and then unpattern. Pattern changes to component one so we've got one component. So if we select that again everything moves. But if we click one of these items, we can move one of them. Turn it through all sorts of angles, etc. Now that's exactly as one would expect. However, Suppose we use box select, we've selected it, it has not been highlighted up here for some reason. And with box selecting you move it, now everything moves, but it's crazy sort of movement. It not only moves it, but it moves it within some sort of strange relationship to the group which I can't find nowhere in the tutorial in the online help that explains what all this is doing uh, try to rotate it and you get all sorts of other weird and wonderful funky things going on Box, box selecting you see now if I single click that same one and try to move it if I, in the family in the structure tree I can still move it happily by itself whereas if I triple click it one two three again it it, it, it moves everything So this, if this is supposed to happen, 
I feel for the uh, design developers of this because it's very confusing. I mean, if this is supposed to happen, what's the purpose of it? And it's highly illogical. Surely selecting it by whatever means is possible should have the same effect on moving. Then we'll try another one. You see that one's free. To move by itself. But again, if you box select it, So somebody please uh, let me know why this is happening and if it's a if it's a feature or a fault. What's the phrase? Is this a feature or a fault? Thank you. Bye.